Hello everybody, I'm just bringing up my comments here. Just give me a second, I'll get that sorted. Hopefully. Is it coming up here? Slowly but surely. There we are. Okay. Alrighty. So what I wanted to do today um, was make a card using the uh, Free as a Bird stamp set, the Bird Ballad Suite, uh, because I haven't done that yet. I haven't actually busted into this set yet. So I thought that that would be a good one to do because I've seen lots of stuff made with it, but I haven't actually used it myself. So I've got my stamp set out. Um, I've actually got a bunch of stuff out because I wanted to make sure that I had the right colors. So what I've done is I've pulled out the colors from the um, designer series paper. So that's the colors that I'm going to be using, which is kind of handy that everything coordinates. Um, and I've pulled out a few other things too. So I'll show you kind of how I use all those colors. I've got this image here with the four birds and I've mounted it up onto my clear block and I'm gonna stamp this in stays on. So anytime you're watercoloring, you want to use stays on. This is the waterproof kind of like permanent marker ink. Um, so it's gonna stay put exactly where you stamp it. If you use um, memento or a regular ink with water, it'll smudge a bit. Now you don't wanna use stays on with blends because it's alcohol based and so are the blends, it will actually run if you use blends. Just a little pro tip. But stays on, you can stamp on acrylic, you can stamp on plastic, glass, anything like that. So I've got my image stamped onto watercolor paper here. And this is just, I think it's two and three quarters by four. So it kind of perfectly fits that um, that image and now I'm just gonna basically start painting so the first thing I'm gonna do is my little leaves so I've got old olive here and I'm just giving my stamp case a nice squeeze and what that's gonna do maybe I need to be a little bit stronger what that's gonna do is put ink into the lid I'm gonna turn the light behind me off my shadow is being a little bit distracting there we go okay so now I've got my aqua painters and they just have a little bit of water in there. I do have more available if I need it. And I'm with a fairly dry brush and I'm not squeezing the barrel at all. I'm just gonna go in and start painting in these leaves and they don't have to be perfect. That's what I really like about watercoloring is that it's not meant to look perfect and always in the lines and the full thing colored in kind of stuff. It's meant to be a little bit loosey-goosey um, and handmade for lack of a better way to describe it. Now if you want to go back and add a bit more color you can totally do that just kind of once it's started drying you just go back with some more ink and add a bit more color. And you can see how I'm starting to build up the color. And all I'm working on right now, like I said, is these leaves. Now you could do this with a paintbrush as well. And maybe I'll show you that. Um, you just then you need a glass of water. And I happen to have a glass of water on my table. It was probably for drinking, but it will still work here. I'll show you with this last little leaf here. I'll use a fairly small one and then I'm just gonna dip it. I've got some water here, dip it in some water and then you can paint with a paintbrush too. I do like the aqua painters because you don't have to have that glass on the table though. So there we go. But what I can do with the paintbrush is go back 
where I want things a little darker because I can get that paintbrush quite dry. And then I want to add a little bit of water and smudge that out a little bit. Okay, there we go. All right, so that's all my little leaves done. So I'm done with my old olive for now. Hi, Gwen. So now I'm gonna take my Blushing Bride, I think, and I'm gonna do my little bird. Mm, no, you know what? I'm gonna do my flowers. I'm gonna use Calypso Coral and I'm gonna paint in my flowers before I forget to do those. I know you finally caught me live, so exciting. I'm hoping that more people can catch me live now that I'm doing kind of this regular schedule. Um, it won't always be live just because of my work schedule, but hopefully it will help. All right. And for those that missed the memo, Saturdays at three and Tuesdays at seven are my kind of video times. Um, the Tuesday ones sometimes will be earlier. Um, I did my last one I did at five. So, but Saturdays, Saturday afternoon and Tuesday evening are my, my video times. Okay, see how quickly I got those flowers painted in? I'm not worried about being perfect. That's the biggest mistake you can make when you're doing anything like this is just trying to be perfect because you're going to get frustrated, you're not going to be happy with the product and you're just not going to finish it so don't try to be perfect that's a take-home message here all right i'm going to do some crumb cake and do that branch and i'm going to touch on a little bit of crumb cake onto my birds as well i think i want a nice dark branch so i'm trying to get as little water as possible and just fill in the ink a little bit. I am kind of pulling it down and up onto the little branches as well just to tie all that together. There we go. Alrighty. Oh, and then I was going to do a little bit on the birds as well. Maybe I'll do some bird bellies and crumb cake. I don't know what these birds are actually supposed to look like, so I'm going to come back with a little bit of the smoky slate and pool party, I think, on the birds. Okay. Yeah, the aqua painters, they're pretty awesome. Um, I sh yeah, like I, sh I showed with the paintbrush too, but I just like because it's you don't need to have all the water there. You can just kind of paint with them. You don't have to worry about having a thing of water and then refilling. And so I'm just bringing in some pool party onto these birdies. And again, I'm not worried about making this perfect. I'm just kind of glomming some paint on there. And having a bit of water just to run it all together. All right, and then I'm gonna do their little heads with Smoky Slate. And then last but not least, I'm gonna add a bit of Daffodil Delight to their beaks. And I do have, I have a microfiber just on my lap here and I'm drying my aqua painter off every once in a while. And that's just when water starts running down it um, it ends up being a bit too much water sometimes, so all I do is just dab it off on there. And that just helps keep the aqua painter not too, too wet. Because I find that when it's too wet, that's when things get very messy very fast. I'm using this smoky slate just to add a bit of shading to my birds to just adding a little bit around the edges so that it 
has a little bit of kind of extra irrigation, I guess. What do you call it? Okay, I'm gonna give them little daffodil delight beaks, I think, because yellow is cute. Little yellow beakies. Okay, now the good news with watercoloring like this is it does actually dry fairly quickly. Um, when I did the pigment sprinkles last time, it those take forever to dry because you're adding so much water. So because we're minimizing the amount of water we're adding to this, it is gonna dry fairly quickly. So I'm actually gonna be able to show you with this, which is a good thing because otherwise you'd be sitting here watching paint dry because I don't have another example to show you. This is very much flying by the seat of my pants because that's how I roll. And it's Saturday and I slept in and then I had to take the dog for a walk and, 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 right? That is life. Okay, we're gonna set this aside to dry a little bit, but I'm gonna work on the rest of my card, I guess. Um, oh, I wanted to add a sentiment to this. I don't know which sentiment I should add. One of the smaller ones, maybe. But there's room for any of them, just not this one here, I don't think. So let me know which one you wanna do. We've got, we're the best of friends. Hello, thanks for being you. Thank you, the world needs more of you. I'm gonna give that a second so that you can voice your opinion. Alrighty, I'm gonna fold my card base. This is just a Whisper White thick card base. And then I have a piece of designer series paper here. Now, normally I do my first layer, I do as four by five and a quarter, but I've cut it a little bit smaller this time to show more of the white around the edge because I wanted to. So that you can see that's how my layer is gonna be built and then I'm gonna have, you know what, actually I don't think it needs a sentiment. I know what I can do. I'm gonna glue this onto the, just have an idea. I'm gonna put the designer series paper on here. show you what I'm gonna do because I have the lace from the bird ballad suite out here and I also have some linen thread now I'm actually out of the trinkets I used them all in my class the other day so I don't have any trinkets I can add but I'm gonna add some lace to this And then I'm just gonna add a cute little bow. Doesn't need a sentiment. Um, ba -dum, ba -dum. There we go. Alrighty. Now I have some dimensionals out here. There we go. Oh my gosh, there's a whole bunch of you guys watching. Say something, I don't know who you are unless you say something. Been chatting with Gwen thinking she was the only one here, but there's a bunch more of you. All right. go all right so now I'm gonna pop this on here and now this is one of my favorite things to do here I've got some linen thread here if I can find the end hi Shirley aren't they beautiful I love this set too I just hadn't gotten around to using it we used it at on stage um, and I really liked the cards that we made then but I hadn't actually used it since okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna double this up does that make sense? So I'm gonna tie a bow and it's gonna have a, uh, more layers. So I'm gonna double my linen thread here and I'm gonna slide it under my lace and then I'm gonna tie a knot here. So that's just my first little square knot and then I'm gonna pop a glue dot under there so that that stays in place. Gwen, I, um, I haven't, don't have any classes scheduled in Campbell River coming up um, just because I haven't had a lot of people RSVPing to them. 
So I'm not planning on doing any more up there unless I get more people basically saying that they're going to come. The last few months it was just me and Darlene. Um, so that was kind of disappointing, but um, yeah, you're if, if we know you're going to come, then I can do something. Um, if you have anybody else that wants to come, then we can for sure do something. Um, but for right now, I'm not, don't have anything planned. Okay, there we go. So I've got my little double bow and my lace. And there we go. That's my card. It's that simple. Um, this card you could add a sentiment to, um, but I just kind of like it with the bow. So there's my watercolor card. That's kind of all I had planned for today. I'll be back on Tuesday. I will be live Tuesday evening. Um, so I'll do it um, probably around seven. And uh, I don't know what I'm going to do yet. So if you have any ideas, anything you want to see, let me know. And have fun. Happy stamping. Bye bye. Oh, if you want to get any of the stamp set or anything like that, um, go to thecraftymedic.com. On the right hand side, there is a link um, to my online store and there is a host code as well. So when you use the host code, if your order is under $200, use that host code and then you'll get some goodies as well. So that's all at thecraftymedic.com. And I just realized that my whole page is off kilter here. That's okay. All right. Happy stamping. Bye.